Kit Kat. Hi, Kit Kat. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I thought I would do a quick update on what's going on here in the countryside. My garden is still trying to grow. Actually, I haven't done much videos about my garden lately because I've been really discouraged. This is my broccoli that you're looking at, and I'm not getting any heads. So I don't know what is going on. You know, this year we had a lot of trouble with our crops producing, or, you know, their growth was stunted, or either they wasn't producing fruit. So, I don't know, I feel very discouraged. The weather here has been so crazy this year. We had a hot summer with really hot, humid temperatures. This is my salad greens. And Miss Kitty has been getting into it. She tore up this side of it. But it looks like it's they're coming along all right. This is the baby carrots that's growing. They're sprouting up. I need to get in there and probably thin them out a little bit. Nothing is growing over here. That's still my lemon balm that's growing. I had planted some beets over here around all of this and it's, it's not even coming up. Like I said, our weather has been so crazy. This is supposed to be Brussels sprouts and they're not producing. We planted all of this stuff, I think, back during the beginning of October. Um, I've got some peas that's finally starting to come up. I've got two rows of them coming up. I'm going to have to get something to put in there so that they can um, attach themselves to it and climb up. And as you can see, there's some baby ones coming up also on this side. It took forever for this to, to come up because of how the weather was. So it just, everything has been dormant. My herbs, they're still producing. I cut everything back and pick them and dry them out and then they keep growing back and that's, that's good, that's a good thing. Over here, I planted some beets. They're, they're starting to finally come up. I still have the peppermint, uh, the oregano, and the rosemary. I couldn't think of it there for a minute. I have some echinacea growing in there too. So this is my cabbage, and it's not really doing much of anything either. Like I said, the growth on everything has just been slow. It's been stunning, it's stunted. Um, it's trying to form a little cabbage head right there. So we'll go look at over here at this one. See, it's trying to form a little cabbage head. Actually, all of them are. So that's what's going on here in the garden. Miss Serenity is out this morning swinging. It's quite warm out here. Um, the nights are getting cold, but the days are quite warm and muggy and very humid, very unseasonable warm here lately. Um, we've had a bunch of storms that have come through, but it looks it looks like it might try to rain today. It's a, there's a lot of fog and overcast, so it was like this past couple days. Look at the birds. stuff and it's, it's kind of like so humid out that it's sometimes it's just hard to breathe so that that's what's going on not much in the garden like I said everything is coming along very slow I'm just gonna leave everything alone and you know see if it gets out of whatever is going on it may just take some time 
but um, we're going to just let it be and hopefully next year things will be better. One thing I did want to tell my viewers is that uh, we're probably going to be moving. Um, we had talked about that earlier back last year, but we decided to just stay here. But um, it looks like, unfortunately, we're going to have to probably move. We have a problem with a slab leak in the house, and it was a very old leak that was here way before we even got here. And the leak is so bad, it got into the walls. The water wicked up from the slab into the walls and into the back of the cabinets. So now we are dealing with a black mold situation. Um, highly allergic to mold. My asthma and allergies have been bothering me for a very, very long time. And, you know, you can't smell the mold, you can't see it, but what brought our attention to it was our dishwasher isn't working, so we pulled it out to try to take a look at it. And then that's what we discovered. So, and we have a landlord that doesn't want to remediate the mold and, and it, you know, they fix the leak, but as far as the drywall and getting all the mold out, he's expecting us to do that, but you know, we just can't do that. We just can't, that's unacceptable. And um, it is a, it's a health risk. So pray for us, keep us in your prayers that the Lord will help us get a new place here pretty soon and we can relocate. Hopefully it'll be around close to where Serenity's therapies are. So pray for us, keep us in your prayers. And I love y'all. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment or two and let me know what you think. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time in the countryside. Bye-bye.